Welcome to Affinity Photo. We're going to quickly look at how to remove fringing and chromatic aberration from your images. So if we zoom into this image here, we'll see some quite ugly purple fringing around the window panes here. And this is quite typical of a high contrast scene, especially one that's been shot with a wide angle lens. So we can defringe using the develop persona. We can use the filters menu up here, but we can also add a live defringe filter, which is what we'll do for this image. So I'll start to drag the fringe color slider to the right. And as we move more towards the purple color, we'll see the fringing disappear like so. And if we move over to the other window, we'll see we've still got a bit of purple fringing up in this corner here. And we can make the effect stronger by adjusting these sliders. So just by taking the edge brightness threshold down slightly, we can then further reduce the purple fringing. So notice here, we've still got some blue fringing as well. And the great thing about using these live filters is that you can also stack them. So let's go ahead and add another defringe filter, drag it in there. And this time we'll go for this dark blue color. We'll take the edge brightness threshold all the way down, increase the tolerance and radius. And we'll be able to see we've also gotten rid of the blue fringing. I'll just uncheck that so you can see the difference. It's minor, but there is a difference. So that's defringing taken care of. Let's have a look at chromatic aberration. A very extreme example of chromatic aberration. The color planes are severely misaligned. So the quickest way to fix this is to go to filter, colors, chromatic aberration, and let the filter do its work and we can see it has reduced the chromatic aberration but obviously the effect is too strong for one pass so we'll go in and apply it again okay not bad we're almost there we've pretty much gotten rid of most of the chromatic aberration here so let's go ahead and try a third pass and bingo it's completely gone. So if you have an extreme example of chromatic aberration like we've just seen, then you can just rerun the filter as many times as you need to correct it. But typically most cases of chromatic aberration are fairly minor. So running the filter once will usually suffice. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.